Yeah, Ethan Winters is still one of the main protagonists in the series and has been the best in the character development since RE7. Why? Let's talk about that. Ethan in Resident Evil Village has been given more depth in terms of awareness, emotions, where you can actually feel his frustrations towards everything that happens around him. He expresses it like a normal human being would in the scenario and not just the video game character. Know what I mean? In contrast to Resident Evil 7, Resident Evil Village or RE8 has improved on so many aspects in terms of gameplay, mechanics and atmosphere. Resident Evil 8 has taken more from the RE4 game, which I personally think is one of the best Resident Evil games to balance action, horror and tension. While Resident Evil 8 doesn't necessarily do all of that in one sitting, it does that the more you progress into the game in regards to four main enemy bosses in the game. Immediately when you're thrown into the game or the village, it feels like you're in this medieval bloodborne dark soulish world but in more first person perspective where in my opinion it makes it more aesthetically pleasing and engaging. The main bosses in the game don't necessarily have the best AI when it comes to chasing you. For example, when Lady D chases you, in, uh, you can evade her by running into the Duke's room. But I mean, let's be honest, when has Resident Evil games have ever had good AI, right? Like in RE4, the Merchant aka the Duke and the Attaché case makes a return in this game along with mechanics like crafting, upgrading weapons, which you get along the way or later even purchase with the Duke. And even cooking food, yes, cooking food is a thing with the Duke who prepares it in exchange for the wildlife you encounter along the way, which gives you permanent health upgrades, faster movement speed, etc. After finishing the game in under 10 hours, I personally really enjoyed Resident Evil Village and that coming from me who dislikes first person games, but I have to say for its price it's definitely worth it if you're a Res Resident Evil fan. But if you're not sure about uh, if you're not sure about it, I'd say watch some gameplay or live streams. Speaking of which, I stream mostly every day on twitch.tv slash preraptor, link in bio. So if you dudes are interested for some chill hangs, come stop by. Final verdict would be the game sets a solid 8 out of 10 and delivers what RE8 promised it would. That being said, have you played Resident Evil Village yet? Or are you planning to? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And until next time, stay safe, take care, bye everyone.